Welcome back to Ozark Fox AM. It is so great to see our friend again, Jamie Johansson, the host of From the Tailgate, which airs Sundays on KOZL. Mm -hmm. We always look forward to what you're going to do. We've had cow tongue. We've had a quiz. Mm -hmm. Today it's cheese and milks. So what have you got yeah. for us today? We're going to be learning about the FFA's Dairy Career Development Event, otherwise known as CDE. Students spend the year training uh, on how to identify milk off flavors, identify cheeses, and a whole slew of other things. This is how we keep our dairy industry safe for the consumer. All right. So interesting. Let's learn. Today we traveled to Miller, Missouri to talk milk and learn all about the Dairy Foods Career Development Event from Miller FFA. Well, the Dairy Foods uh, Career Development Event has been around a long time. Uh, we haven't typically trained it here at Miller. Mm -hmm. We had a student teacher last spring, Mr. Tanner Koenig, from, did his student teaching here. And, he wanted to train a dairy foods team, so we turned him loose with some of our better students. Mm -hmm. And obviously they were very successful and won the state contest. Take me through uh, the overall aspect of training them and getting them prepped and, and the purpose of the contest. Well, the pr uh, training the contest is different aspects from milk off flavors to cheese and dairy, non-dairy that some of the kids will be showing you a little bit later. Uh, so the purpose of the contest, first and foremost, is just quality assurance to make sure that we are providing a quality product, dairy product in this case, to the American consumer. Uh, so not only is it the quality assurance part of the dairy product, but it's the life skills the students learn like critical thinking, decision making, being dedicated to purpose and practicing and working hard. Well, true life skills. Well, let's go meet your, your team and uh, have them teach me a little bit about um, what they learned throughout this year. So, Lexi, we have the milk off flavors part of the competition in front of us. Tell me about it. Um, so, basically, we have um, 10 milks that we have to taste for defects, and these are the most common ones in front of us. And these are natural occurring defects that you would find on the farm? Uh, yes. So, this one, um, you would first want to smell it. And if you smell it, okay. it has kind of a. Oh, I can smell? Yeah, the uh -huh. garlic and onion. So, at a competition, you would taste each milk, but we don't swallow it, correct? Yeah, you will spit it back in the cup. Okay. <laughs> so, when you taste the milk, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, real bad. So you want to really like swish it around in your mouth and sometimes even like open your mouth, get an airflow in there. So when we do this, um, after we taste it, we Grade it on a scale of one to ten. Okay. Ten being no defect, best milk. One being very, very gross. So how would you rate this one? Um, well, the scoring for garlic and onion is five three one, and that was a light to medium. So I would light. Whew. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. There's been <laughs> worse. Um, so I would give it probably a three. Okay. Tori, I think I'm going to enjoy this part of the competition a little better. Take me through um, the cheese ID. Okay, so there's 20 cheeses that we have to learn, and along with that, we have to learn characteristics of them. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole cheese matrix that we uh, memorize, and we had to learn the fat percentages, the moisture content, where they originated from, and just like all the characteristics of the cheese. And out of those, there's 10 cheeses laid out that we have to identify and write down the characteristics that match with it. So when you've got a plate of cheese in front of you, what type of uh, mental notes are you checking off in your head to identify what cheese is in front of you? Uh, I first look at color, so as you can see, mm -hmm. we have a yellow cheese here yeah. compared to the white ones. Um, and also this one has an orange rind, and there's clues like that that can give it away sometimes. And you can also see if there's processing holes. Okay, let's try this yellow cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what should I be looking for? Uh, so with the yellow cheeses, you'll be looking for if it's a cheddar, how sharp the taste is. Okay. Uh, and if it another yellow cheese is processed American, it'll be more creamy and mm -hmm. have that processed taste. Well, luckily you chose three cheeses that I really like, and I learned a lot about them. So Dakota, we have part of the dairy non-dairy competition in front of us. Tell me about it. Okay. So the dairy non-dairy part of the contest is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, you just go through, there's 10 samples. It could be anything from butter to margarine to sour cream to fake sour cream uh, or fake artificial. Artificial. <laughs> right. Well, let's take a test and then you can 
tell me what other identifying characteristics we're looking for. Okay, so with something that you're looking at is the texture. Okay. Um, you can kind of see that this one, it doesn't really leave a whole lot on the side. There's some visible mm -hmm. stuff but on the side. I noticed the color is a little different. It is a little discolored, and there are some, something kind of, a little bit of like texture, if mm -hmm. you look at it closely. A little thicker. Mm -hmm. Can we smell it? Then it's just kind of... It's thin. It's really thin. Mm -hmm. It's really... Uh, there's no other way to describe it than... So nutty. what do we got here? This is almond milk. Oh, okay. Almond milk would be scored a non-dairy variable fat on here. Okay. Everything that is not an actual dairy product is considered non-dairy variable fat. And, and the overall you know, purpose of this competition kind of goes back and falls in line with the others is, is uh, food safety and quality, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can always... It's good to be able to tell what you're drinking mm -hmm. and what you know you're using, but uh, it's always good to be able to say that you know that is actual, and that it's good quality, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. because, that what you're purchasing is right. What you're that for. You, and that you know, and if you know, if you're able to taste and determine the quality, the content of the fat in something, you know that you're getting what you pay for. Wow. Lots of info there. Lots are of info. Are you ready for this? I'm, well, well, are you ready? Uh, sure. Okay, okay, so we're going to start easy and we're going to identify cheeses. Oh, so, yes. So um, okay. grab a toothpick and let's dive into number one. Now, okay. she shared with us that the is first that thing you're going to do is ID or look at the color. Okay. 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 And then, um, so a lot of times you can identify it by color and smell. Okay. Oh, I didn't smell it. I didn't smell I'm smelling. I don't smell We got nothing. plenty. You can take another bite. I don't, I don't smell anything, Jamie. Is it This mine? one's not going to have a strong smell. Can I tell you what I think it is? You can tell me what you think it is. Is it Munster? Nope. Mm. Close. Is it Havarti? Havarti. Okay, Havarti. there it is. Mm. There it so is. they're also going to be identifying, we, we're ID, IDing those, and that's all I know how to do. But they're also identifying the milk fat in that and how the consistency. So there's lots of levels that they're doing to identify the quality of the grated cheese. So diving into the second one. It's got a little a yellow rind. Which on she it. said to identify that as looking at using your eyes. Oh. Now, do you eat, <coughs> eat the rind? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't you know what? Either. Let me just say this. I haven't smelled either one of them, uh -huh. and I know we need to do that. I've always been taught that's rude to smell it smell first. Smell food? Yes. yes. Not in a contest. You're good. Not in a contest. I'm <laughs> or live TV. You can okay. smell things. i got to try that one again. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know what This that is, is one of my favorite ones. Well, what did you guess earlier? Munster? Is this the Munster? Is okay. it? And you, basically, I don't know if I would, my palate is refined enough to know the difference between a Munster and a Havarti, but look at the rind. It's all, Munster's yeah. always yeah. going to have yeah, that rind. rind. Okay. There you go. No. Okay, all diving right. into a yellow cheese. All right. I like trying cheeses. Oh, whoops, I can't get it on there. Sorry. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> you go. You go. I'll hold it. Oh, he got two. Oh, go. double dipper. Double. I got okay, two so. pieces. Let me smell. Okay, I want to say that. Cheddar. I was going to say it smells like sharp cheddar. Okay, sharp. Sharp, sharp yep. cheddar. Uh -huh. And so cheddars can be also white. So you that's use, right. You can do the white sharp cheddar. And then I'm there's telling mild. you, that's my favorite. White sharp cheddar is my favorite, actually. Mm -hmm. It's great. I love it. Okay. So sometimes uh, looks can be deceiving, so you have to use sight, smell, and taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So diving into this next one. Okay. There we go. Set that back right there, please. There you go. Oh, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably by smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Swiss. It's Swiss. a Swiss. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I made sure you couldn't see any of the holes. Right, exactly. <laughs> Any oh man, I love Swiss so cheese. So see, smelling does really work to know what okay. you're doing. Though. Exactly. Okay. So our last one, um, you can identify with taste. Or, I mean, with smell. I know I can because I think I already know this one. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get on it. Yep, I know exactly what it is and I love it. And it's blue cheese. It's Jeremy's yeah. favorite. Yes. So moving on to the milk. And these are mm. milk off flavors. Milk off flavors are usually are, are tested on the farm and are identified based on um, storage potentially, um, what the animal ate, their diet, or their health. Okay, so this is number one, I believe. So you can smell it. Can I? I'm Remember they said... Can I say that blue cheese is lingering? Okay, it's now that, I hope that doesn't alter that blue, your flavor. It's long. It's you may need to throw a cheddar in there. Yeah, I don't let, me, know. let me... Let me... Yeah, let's... <laughs> hold on. Or something milder. Like, I'll get Havarti because I yeah. love it so much. Okay. okay. Here we go. Does it smell it? Mm-hmm. Smell it. Does it smell like anything? No. No. Okay. No, we're supposed to taste it and spit it back out. Yep. Swish okay. it around your mouth as long as you can. Get those taste buds a rolling. Oh, that tastes like, um, I know that taste. 
Is it a good taste or a bad taste? It's just a normal, normal milk. Normal, like weird taste. It's a weird taste. So, this is an oxidized milk. And so, oh. sometimes the oxidation will um, come from lighting. So, a fluorescent lighting in a glass bottle. So, storage would be the issue with Sorry, that. Sorry, we have to hurry up. We're, We're running out of time. Roll. Okay. We're well, running out of time. Let's uh, I'll get the cup set up. Skip. You can do five. Okay. Okay. There we go. I don't. I, I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time even. So this it. one is flat and watery. It's just a watery milk. So that means that there's less uh, richness in the flavor. Mm -hmm. okay. And so that would be considered like a skim, less a skim like milk a skim. or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What number was that? <laughs> so I know. I don't know which one you just poured, but. Yep. And so this one is going mm. to. Um, you can maybe smell it. <laughs> just smell a little sour. <laughs> so this one has this one is acidic, and this is going to be. Um, there's we, we added buttermilk to it, so it's gonna be oh, high buttermilk. Okay. Fat. And then okay. the last one is gonna be the best one. Okay, all right, we, we gotta to go, go. though, Jamie. Oh, we gotta okay. go. Toss a break while we try okay. this. Okay, lots more milk <laughs> before we come back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> I can't even try it. My stomach is so weak, Jamie. You can smell this one.